Hi everyone, how are you? It is Saturday evening, 7.30 p.m. I just had some very special guests at my little apartment. Um, an old friend, Brian, and his daughter, Lissa. Um, I worked with his wife for many years at my job, and um, that was really nice to see them both. Um, I don't have Charlie. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going over tomorrow, whether my daughter likes it or not. And I'm going to go see him or bring him home here, his other home. And um, so that's that. I just wanted to stop in. <clears throat> you know me, I can't stop crafting. And show you what I'm working on, which I mentioned last night. If you didn't see the video, check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I have some pretty exciting things coming up. So uh, subscribe, like my video, and hit the bell so that you can be notified if I should uh, download and upload, download another video, okay? Um, so right now I am going to show you, uh, let me turn this thing around. Okay, this is what I just painted. <clears throat> that was the candle uh, holder that I bought for $3 in Dollar General. So I just want to step by step show you how I'm doing this. I don't want the tape to run as long as some of my other ones. So that's why I'm going to step by step show you. This is the paint that I'm using. It's a Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to paint it white first. And then I am going to paint it, uh, this is called Brick Red, acrylic paint, and um, I'm going, this is a, uh, yeah, it's called Brick, Brick, and I'm going to paint that after I do one more coat, one more coat of the white, then I'm going to paint it red, and then we are going to get the Mod Podge out. And we are going to, like I told you last night, decoupage these little, uh, I have these scraps of material from the um, ornaments that I made last night uh, onto this little candle holder. And it's going to be a cute little Christmas decoration that uh, I can use or who knows, maybe I'll give it away um, for gosh it could be for a candle or you could put lights in it or flowers anything so for th this was a three dollar candle and it smelled really good so that's the first step we're going to wait for this to dry hi everyone well i have a mess everywhere i have got a phone call from my daughter and i had to talk to her my sweet youngest daughter we haven't talked in a couple days uh, and she's always working hard. So I wanted to talk to her. And while I was at it, I made some more of the Santa Claus Christmas decorations. And I think you're going to love them. I made two more. I mean, this is one I made last night. And my grandson already put dibs on, on it for, I'm, for it. He's like, Grandma, I want that one. So I thought, well, okay, if my grandson likes it, it must be good. So I'm going to make some more, and hopefully I can sell them. So if anybody wants to buy one, I'm going to sell them for $5. Uh, they're a little bit of work, trust me. But I'm going to do a tutorial on it and show you how I make them. But it's a little bit lengthy. So um, that's that. So now, just to let you know, hold on. I did one coat of, of the white chalk paint, Waverly chalk paint, on this $3 candle jar that I already, I'm not going to tell you what, what scent it was because it might give away that little game we have going on. Uh, but it was wonderful for $3. I bought in Dollar General. And so I did one coat of the white, and it helps adhere the acrylic paint to the um, jar. 
I waited for it to dry, and that's when I was talking to my daughter. Now I just applied a red coat of paint, and I have a fan on it. I'm waiting for it to dry, and once we, it dries, I'll do a second coat, and then we'll do the Mod Podge. Hi everyone. Okay, we're at five minutes, and I'm really trying to shorten these uh, videos that I'm doing. Having trouble with my stand that I bought on Amazon, the one of the legs don't want to cooperate, so I got it. Well, if it goes haywire, you'll know why. Um, so, what I did, I did two coats of the Waverly White chalk paint on our three dollar general, dollar general. Um, glass jar. It's really heavy. And uh, then I did two coats of the brick red acrylic paint. Um, now we're going to do the Mod Podge. Uh, I have my Mod Podge. It's the Mod Podge matte finish. And uh, my paintbrush. And I wanted to tell, uh, mention this to you. If you're ever painting a jar or um, a jar or anything, really, uh, put it on a plate so that you can turn it any way you want it so you don't have to touch the paint. And uh, that, that always works very well for me. Now, I have just from that cloth that I use to make the Christmas decorations. i got to put my glasses on. I have, I, I got a couple pieces out that I could use for this. So there won't be a whole lot. I got like four of as much of the van as I could. But I told you, I don't throw things away. <clears throat> so we're going to put those on there. But if you remember the other day, when I did a, um, I did a haul, a Dollar Tree haul. I believe it was. Uh, I told you I bought these. Now I know they're backwards, but it says life is beautiful. I showed them to you on one of my holes. I don't do a lot so of holes. So, well, I turned it around and never noticed. Let me put this up a little bit. This doggone stand. Hold on one second. This is crazy. I gotta let uh, Amazon know about this. This is paid a lot of money for this thing. Well, a lot for me. <laughs> All right, let me try to put something here to hold it because it's driving me crazy. Okay, makeshift Cheryl. Okay, on the other side here, it had white letters and it says family, love, stay wild. I'm reading them because it's backwards major and has little cute little hearts uh heart eyes an arrow sweet fun and moments with a little flower so i have two sides with letters so i didn't know that so i'm going to use because i don't have very many of these little vans to decoupage i'm going to use some of these letters i don't know which ones but um i'm going to start this and um well you guy well while you guys were away see there it goes again i made several santa clauses and i'm practicing so i can do them online this is one this is crazy this thing is so cro crooked this is one i just made sitting there watching tv talking to my daughter and I am going to do a tutorial on it, like I told you. Here's the other one. I did a, uh, put a little, like the white glue, I don't know the name, like Elmer's, and I put a little sparkle on it. Hair sprayed his beard. And instead of the uh, fill, a filler, I used a little cotton ball, and, which worked out a lot easier. So I got three snowmen, I mean, uh, Santa Clauses. All right. So two coats of red, two coats of white. The white helps it adhere to the jar. And um, so what I'm going to do first 
I'm going to get a kind of a big paintbrush and dry it off a little bit. I am going to put, put it down so you can see. That would help. Some of the decoupage, the Mod Podge rather, we are going to decoupage it on the uh, glass jar. Because it's material, you want to put a nice amount. Uh, tissues a little less when I use the napkins a little bit less but be, the, for some reason you need a little more with the material okay so let's put this is the nicest piece of cloth I had left of the van so let's put that right in the front and kind of make sure before you press it down that it's as straight as possible and then we're going to press it okay as so and once you think it's really straight we're going to go mod podge put some more mod podge right over it and you're going to find out that when it dries i think i have told you this before that it actually makes the color more brilliant. Why? I don't know, but it does. Kind of be a little, I'm being a little gentle. I have a habit of going very fast and then I mess up the material or the tissue. Okay, you may have to put several coats of this on here. All right, so I have this one. I'm, I'm around the edges. I'm really putting a little extra because that's where it's very important. This is such a heavy jar. Okay, smooth it out a little bit and wait for that to dry. And then I'm going to take these aren't fully cut uh, little of vans but we're going to put some of them i'm going to put one on the bottom i know you can't see but i'm doing actually the same thing i'm just kind of placing it on the bottom of the jar i'm going to place them in all different spots and then i'll keep a little open spot for some of these letters that i purchased in the I believe I got, I'm not sure. I think Walmart was a Walmart haul. Yes, it was definitely a uh, Walmart. They got some really great stuff in their crafting area department. All right, so here we go. And I'm gonna put him, this little guy right here, even though it's a half of the van, I'm gonna try to even if it's a little tilted, it's okay. Press it down with my hand a little bit, my fingers. Okay, and then we're gonna put the Mod Podge right over it. Make sure you get the edges as well as you can. Okay, and let's, I'm gonna leave a spot for some white letters. I have two more little pieces. So where are we gonna put them? I think I'll put one up here, above the one we just did. $3 jar from Dollar General, and we're gonna make it into something really sweet. I can't even talk about Charlie, everyone. I know you're like, why isn't she talking about Charlie? I am depressed, like you wouldn't believe. I just miss him so much. I, I can't barely talk about it. I'm gonna put this one on a little slant because it's not a whole van. You know, I'm just trying to 
make it look like it's supposed to be that way. Um, Charlie is my heart, and I had him so much, and I don't know why, since I moved here, my daughter wants him home. And then she said something to me about, I always get him the flea treatment. And she said she feels like that is harming the dog. That it, it's toxic, which is possible because I believe that my cancer is, has something to do with the pesticides that, when I was a little girl, my grandmother used to take me to her trailer on some of the weekends when my father would work. And they had these pesticide trucks that would come because my grandmother had really bad mosquitoes and near the shore in Apsekin. And um, me and my brother, my younger brother, would run through the, the um, smoke of these huge trucks that would come by and fill, the, I mean, smoke, like you wouldn't believe, a pesticide, and we would run through it like it was a fun game. All right, I'm gonna put one more right here. And we did it, like every time we were down the shore in the summer when they, uh, when they would come, there's trucks. I always, I asked my doctor, Nothing else is wrong with me except my thyroid condition. Could it possibly be the pesticides? And he said they don't know because they don't have a, um, they only have, they only have a, what do you call it? A somewhat of a prediction that it does. So I don't know, but it is what it is. And that's that. So my daughter's probably right. I'm gonna put this one straight. However you want it, make sure you don't put any Mod Podge on it until you're sure of where you want to put it, okay? All right, now we're going to do the edges. I wish I had more of this material left. I might go back and check Walmart when I get some money and get some more. Now my tables. This isn't a good day for me at all. Oh, hold on, folks. Sorry about that. Oh, this isn't my night. This thing, I should tell Amazon about this because they're really good at returns. This thing is just falling over. Um, my uh, phone holder, whatever you call it, the tripod, is just really, I thought it was good, but it isn't. So, I miss my dog, and I always say my dog, but it's all of our dog, you know, because I just took such good care of him and loved him so much, but <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to go over there tomorrow and see if my daughter will let me bring him home for a night. <clears throat> okay, so we got that on there, and we're going to let that dry. And uh, when that dries, we're going to put a second coat but I left this empty space and I'm gonna put some of these white letters. I'm not sure what ones. I do have the sparkly ones, but I think white will look better. It says, uh, I think it might be love and a couple little hearts. Yeah, I think it's gonna be love. So uh, I'll be back and we'll do that. Hello everyone, I'm back. I wish I could tell you that my glass jar is finished but there's no way it's going to dry tonight and it is 11:25, and i just now put a third coat of mod podge on it and it is absorbing it like crazy but um i am going to come back on tomorrow evening and i'll show you this the result but um this is why I say always put it on a paper plate or some sort of plate. This is because it's material, it's a lot harder to get to Mod Podge on. It's not like the tissue paper, the napkins that are very light. Um, 
I mean very thin and easy to work with. Um, actually, they're harder to work with, the tissue paper, but um, the material is harder to get to adhere to whatever it is you're uh, doing. So anyway, what I wanted to show you before I sign off is that I took some of those cute white letters and a couple hearts and I put them on this because I don't have very many of the material um, VW vans. I figured I would put, I know it's backwards, but I figured I would put um, some of these little white stickers on here. I had purchased at the Walmart, like I told you. I had, I didn't even know I had, that's how blind I am, that I had the white stickers. I knew I had this. The reason I bought it was for the gold. So we'll see, I don't know. I'm always a trial and error person. We'll see how it works out. I have the fan blowing. That's why my hair's all over the place. And I hot glued those little hearts on there. If they come off, I'll hot glue them back on. But it's going to be really, I hope, it's going to be really cute. It's a trial and error, like I said. And uh, that's about it for tonight. Um, like I said, I am going to be selling these little snowmen. I'm going to have little hooks on them. So if you know anybody interested, they're only going to be $5. Okay. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, like this video. I hope you like it. Um, and also ring that little bell in the corner, wherever it is, so that you can be notified, like I said before, when I, I download or upload. I always get that wrong. A uh, video. Um, pray for me so that I can see my puppy tomorrow. I always get to look at him, his pictures on the wall. Every day. I wake up, I get my coffee, and I look at my baby. Even though he's not here, I still look at him. And this tripod, I'm mad. It's so crooked. Um, also, I don't, and this is probably going to be the last time I am going to bring this up because I don't, I want to see who's watching my. YouTube channel. November the 7th, the first person to guess my favorite candle scent and the person, the second person, the first person to guess my favorite drink, I won't say if it's hot or cold, um, gets to choose one of the, I think there's four of the uh, wreaths that I got out of the store that didn't sell. You get to the first one for the candle gets to choose the first and the second one the drink gets to choose the second i'm not going to bring it up ever again until the uh, november the 13th that's my husband's birthday that passed away and our wedding day so uh, i hope it brings someone luck um and um, i will call the winners on november the 13th so it will be a few days later I won't bring it up again. Like I said, I want to see who's watching my videos because I am watching you. Have a nice night. And uh, if I'm a little off, it's because I don't have my baby. Oh. I have six beautiful grandchildren and I love them to death. But he's like another one of my grandchildren that doesn't give me a hard time now. My grandchildren are all special and wonderful. And I love them. Mac, Leah, Aaron, Christian, Chloe, and my Juju. His name's Julian, but I call him Juju. I love them with all my heart. And that is, that's what I live for. So thank you for watching and have a nice night. And tomorrow night, I will be on to show you the result of this thing. We don't know what will happen. It could be a total disaster but we'll find out. Take care.